Hello, James Galloway here again. Um, yeah, I just wanted to share my ideas and thoughts on uh, meditation, times to meditate, um, trying to get it get it all to fit in really in these busy, busy manic lifestyles we all have. I, um, I for one, have a big family. Um, I do work my own business from home. My, my wife works with me as well. Um, but everything is manic and... I think um, a lot of people that I speak to when I say, oh, you want to start meditating or, um, you know, we we have a lot of people, a lot of friends around us that, that understand that we're doing doing well um, just based on our, um, how we are. Uh, you know, we're always on cloud nine, say always, nine times out of ten on cloud nine. Um, anyway, my answer to them is, look, you've got to start finding a peace of mind. You need to, you need to get to a point where you're in control, in control of your mind, um, and deliberately creating your path as opposed to going with the flow, uh, getting swallowed up with the with the world around you, the 3D construct around you, and letting it play you. So the first step, the first place I always start with people is, look, you need to meditate. I mean, meditation is key. Um, and then that frightens people because some people are like, oh, I don't have time. Um, or some people do have time and they don't find what the benefits are in it in the early days, so they struggle with that. Um, so my answer is you've got to start fitting it in wherever you can. Now, one of the places I started doing it when I had time because I was uh, driving a lot was in the car. Now, a lot of people think, oh, gosh, you know, you can't um, sit in the car and close your eyes. Uh, I, I don't mean that. It's more so the mindfulness side of things. Now, if you've not researched and looked into mindfulness, I suggest you do. Um, it's bringing yourself into the moment, um, which is what happens, which is what takes place during meditation. But... Um, if you look at it when you're in the car driving as mindfulness, as opposed to sort of zoning out completely, um, you can bring yourself into the moment. Now, that's what's important is living in the moment. Um, so for me, it was key to be able to fit it in. And then the more I started to um, realise I was connecting, I would I would try and fit meditation in everywhere. Anyway, what I have at the moment, I have a routine. Uh, this is what's working for me right now. Um, I do the gym first thing in the morning, uh, get up, sort the kids, help the wife, sort the kids. Uh, between us, we, we, we make it work so that I can then shoot off to the gym. Um, then I go home and first thing I do then is do my meditation, ready, set for the day and then shower and then done. Um, this routine helps me tremendously. It's like, um, it works for me like clockwork and I fit my meditation in, uh, which is important, which is key. Now, also, some people um, worry, you know, if I miss a meditation, or if I'm not doing it long enough, is it working? There's so many people at different steps, at different places along this step, their journey, sorry, with the meditation. So some are just starting out, some have been doing it for longer. Um, but all of us at different stages, we all have moments of forgetting it, not making time, Um I can. I mean, I'm. I'm on it more now than I ever have ever have been, uh, because I realise it's 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 actually part of the day as opposed to me making room for it. I sort of go around it, so I make things work. Meditation first, and then and then things work around the edge of it. But you get to that level. Everybody gets to there eventually. It's part of the journey. It's part of the the steps that we're taking. Um, so, in the early days, in particular. It's very difficult. It's like, oh, is that working? Am I meant to be doing this? Am I meant to be doing that? Don't expect anything. Let it be what it is. Let it flow. Let the thoughts flow through your mind. Don't be frightened. Uh, people misunderstand. They seem to think you've got to, from day one, clear your mind completely, not hear or see anything else. Um, it doesn't work like that. You need to... Um, you need to expect it. Expect it. Just let it flow. Let it be. Even if you have five minutes to yourself... That is that is how it works. You know, you can start with um, five minutes a day, just time to yourself, just sit in there. Even if you're using your thoughts as a way to sit in a mindfulness scenario, so sit there and think of something in your day and just think it through, just, just that one thing. Um, so you're bringing attention to one area. And then as the days go by and you progress with it, you can learn more and more to acknowledge your thoughts during meditation uh, tell it you'll deal with it again later and send it on. So it's just like passing it through. Let it flow. Everything flows. Everything in the universe is a flow state. Nothing is nothing is for keeps. It's flow. Um, anyway, those were the steps that I found helped me the most with 
uh, meditation and having a um, a routine in particular is is key for me. Um, that's not to say, you know, the routine doesn't break. Sometimes it happens, you know, we go on holiday, there's other things we do. Um, the routine must bend and that's okay. That is also okay. It's not, I'm not bound to a routine. I'm not held to the routine. Um, and that's, you know, that's the way it is forever. It's just, it's working right now. And I highly recommend it. Um, I think um, with meditation, I think the, the key thing is to remember don't expect anything from it when you're starting out. Just follow the actions, take the actions through. Your higher soul, your higher self is looking for you. It's reaching out to you all the time. You don't have to reach to it. It's reaching out to you, but you have to allow it. We, everything flows, like I said, we have a tendency to block the flow. Um, so it is looking for you. There is a calling for you. There is your higher self trying to connect with you all the time always send you signals always guiding you at times of meditation you're allowing this flow okay so um yeah medicate meditation sorry not medication um actually against medication but meditation is key um to my spiritual journey and my growth and i suggest it to everybody and other people that have taken that route that i know that i recommended um at some point or another start to to get it and understand and then then start changing things for themselves for me it's been um it's changed my life changed my world and and yeah so um yeah hopefully this has helped some people you know clear things up because uh, not everybody does get it i do have some meditations i do my own meditations that um i will be sharing at some point uh for, for various things guided meditations um I do swear by guided meditations, but I also do meditations of just um, frequencies. And I do meditations of just nature. So um, I think there's a combination of things you can do. You get different things from different meditations. Um, and guided meditations can be pretty good uh, for specific things. So I highly recommend them as well. Uh, I think that's it for now. I've got to go and do... I'm, I'm, I'm at the gym now, so I'm going to go and do my, uh, my workout. And I'm going to go home and do my meditation and then start my day. Um, if you're interested in the stuff I'm sharing so far, please do subscribe to my channel. Um, at this stage, you can see it's only a small channel. I'm absolutely fine with that. Um, I don't care how many see this, how many, whether people do or don't follow. Absolutely fine. Um, but I will be putting up more stuff and I know it will be helping more people. Okay. Anyway, thanks ever so much. Love and peace. Have a great day.